We are now just three days away from the total solar eclipse. We've been hearing a lot about how the sun's rays will damage your eyes if you look directly at it. And photography experts warn those same rays can damage your phone's camera. Megan Schiller shows us how to avoid damaging your phone. I am standing here alongside none other than Pittsburgh photographer Dave DiCello's beautiful camera. We came to him to ask what are the tips and tricks in order to make sure when you're trying to capture that perfect picture, you don't burn either your retinas or the lens of your camera. With a long lens and a photo in about every Pittsburgher's basement, Dave DiCello's ready to point this bad boy to the sun. And this is the same setup you're going to use? Yep. The same tripod and camera, and but I've had this tripod for, I don't know. 15 years. Take a look at these shots he captured during the last eclipse in 2017. Cloud cover around here might ruin his shot this year, so he's headed for clearer skies. Right now, the forecasts are saying Vermont or New England, and then tentatively the Midwest, so Indiana, Illinois. All he needs is this tripod, his camera, and massive lens. Plus, he's going to screw this on. The newer cameras, they don't have that, that shutter, so the sensor is always visible. So if you were to point that at the sun without a solar filter, it would, it would just fry the sensor you would end up with a big dark spot in the sensor and then it would be ruined you have to get a new camera we asked him what about amateur photographers using their cell phones he said same thing goes shoot through a filter we found some solar filters for sale on amazon and even some big box stores around here like walmart if you can get a solar filter um you know you can still put it in front of the lens um with a with a an iphone you're not going to be able to really zoom in probably enough to be able to see what it's going to look like. So since it might look lackluster on your phone, just wear your glasses. DiCello recommends actually looking around and taking it all in as soon as the sun goes away. And it looks like twilight around and it gets a couple degrees cooler. It's like I got goosebumps thinking about it like it. It's it's crazy to see and it's amazing to experience. And as people scramble to get these solar filters for either their glasses or their eyes or their cameras, make sure that they are legit and not counterfeit again. Are going to have some marking on them that says ISO, so be sure to look for that stamp. Also, be sure to track our live coverage coming at you starting on Monday afternoon.